This is restringing an order heart part two, putting the new strings on. Sorry about the focus, first of all. I did this in close up, and apparently three feet away is not close up. But this is my FC Daigle Desert Rose, and in the previous video, I showed you how to get the strings off. Now we'll see about getting them back on again. First job is to line up the holes in the tuning pins, um, get them pointing roughly in the direction of the bridge. Um, you'll know whether to turn them up or down by checking the level. Just put a straight edge over the top. If the tuning pin is too low, turn it to bring it up. If it's too high, turn it so it goes down. At the other end you'll need to take out the tuning cams for the bass strings at least. Um, you can get by without doing that on the treble strings. Now, every string you'll find has got a little bit sticking up which is lethal. If it, anything is going to cause you damage it's that. So you do need to trim them off. Not the way I've done it here but put it in a bin right down in the bin and snip it off there. You'll then find that the strings will slot into the uh, tuning slot, fine tuning slot, and they'll stick out a bit, but that's okay, they'll get dragged through as you tune them. Put the string through the right hole in the right tuning pin, and get your little bit of drinking straw that you've cut to two to two and one eighth inches long. This is a measuring guide and this will tell you how much you need to trim off the wire. So when you've cut it to length, take it out of the hole through the tuning pin again and get your needle nose pliers. Now you need to make a J shape at the end of this wire. So grab it about 3 16 from the end and give it a good twist. Uh, you'll see that in close-up now. You see how that gives you a, a hook that you can anchor into the hole in the tuning pin. This is the hardest bit of the whole process, I must say. Finding that hole on the back edge of the tuning thing is difficult. So I've cut out the 20 seconds it took me to do that. You now start tightening and uh, keep some tension on the string all the time. Keep some, keep it as tight as you can, and try and guide those turns around the uh, tuning pin. You'll find it quite difficult. You might ease them into place with a screwdriver. I didn't do that very much actually. Uh, you don't want. You're not going to get a professional job unless you give it to a professional. Um, what you want is a job that works and for me this works. Get it, make sure it's seated in the bridge correctly. It's got to go round the little copper upright pin and get it to the point where it just makes a noise. You can see the results of my windings there and the seating at the other end. For the treble strings, you don't need to take out the tuning cams. I've speeded this section of the video up so you can see uh, very quickly what I'm doing here. Exactly the same thing, cutting it to length. Uh, sorry, this is all happening off camera. Uh, the one thing I'm not going to do is do it all over again. So sorry about that. Um, little J on the end, and you can see now how I keep this under tension as I tighten it up until it starts to make a noise and unfortunately it makes a horrible buzzing noise it took me a while to find out what that was actually it's the brass rod in the bridge and if I damp that you can hear it's perfectly okay various other things will happen as you go along there's a nice buzz there which was caused actually by the tuning cam fine tuner when I tightened that it was okay
This shows just how one of the, two, the, the wires is being pulled into place and seating properly as you tighten it up. Just be aware and check on that. Putting the last string in, um, I've saved the worst till last, the last of the unwound strings, which happens to be a D on this order harp. It is on most order harps actually. Um, cutting the little sticky out bit off in the bin. Um, the reason this is awkward is it's the thickest of the strings. It's really thick wire, it's difficult to work. So it's difficult to get it seated properly. But exactly the same process, put it in position. Uh, this is actually just about the right length. I did measure it with my little straw and it's, it's fine as it is. None of these things have to be that accurate. So that's close enough. Just making sure that the little bit of wire sticking over is seated the right way up in the tuner. It helps keep it in position. And there's the J shape into place. Yeah, I said that was a hard bit. Oh dear, I am going bold. Keeping it under tension as I tighten it. I wish I had a workbench and some clamps. Harp is sliding about all over the place. Gradually making sure it's in the right tuning, uh, right to bridge pin. And getting it to the point where it's making noise. Okay. Only thing left to do is tune it. Repeatedly and often. Now this is the results of my windings. You can see they're not brilliant. Uh, some are better than others. They, they all work. That's the main thing. Check the seating on the bridge. Make sure that if uh, you have any buzzes, that's probably where it's going to come from. You might need to press it down with a screwdriver. I've leveled off the tuning cams, the fine tuners. I won't be using those to tune it for quite a while. And just check the seating. There's one string in particular that I can see is going to cause me problems. That one is sticking out quite a way. So tune it, wait a couple of hours, tune it again, and keep doing that until it stays in tune.